Now, a mitre joint on its own is very weak, so you always got to add something, whether it's a spline or dowels in this case, or, or screws or pocket holes, whatever you're going to do. We're going to be using dowels, and this is how we do it. So you lay it down. Again, you can use the same check marks as we did last time, but we're going to put them on the inside faces. So we're going to check mark, and check mark, and then check mark, and a check mark. And of course, the dowels are going to get drilled here, so we're going to put X's just as a safety. And we're going to put the X's starting from the, the edge that we want. And this is how it's going to come together. We're going to lay our piece in the device. I'm going to skew it a little bit to make it a little bit easier so it's flatter. Tighten it down. So we got a check mark and we got a check mark. 